Let's talk about Cub, which is a Belgian horror film. Uh, it's the, the first feature from a, a young director called uh, Jonas Govertz. Who I have to say is a regular correspondent to this program. This is so, Jonas, who knows everything about horror, so has Jonas, gone and made a horror film. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm going to remind you of some of your correspondence after Robbie's reviewed your film. Okay, so the, <laughs> pre the premise of the film is that uh, Cub Scouts from Antwerp, which is in the Flemish side of Belgium, go on a trip uh, into the woods in Wallonia, which is the French side of Belgium. And when they get there, the, the, the Cub Scout leaders start winding the kids up, Robert, 11, 12 years old, about this werewolf child that lives in the forest called Kai. And unbeknown to them, there is this evil presence in the forest. It's not quite a werewolf child, but there's, the, 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 there's a, a kind of a feral boy wearing a wooden mask uh, and a very burly man who is named in the credits as the poacher. I don't think he's ever referred to as such, but he's rigged up a series of traps around the, the, the forest. Kind of what you expect to happen does happen because the, the, there's enormous tensions within the group. The, the kind of central character is this 12 year old boy called Sam, uh, who is very unhappy, he's very sensitive to these stories that are being told. And the, one of the two Cub Scoutmasters in particular exploits that and gets a sadistic pleasure out of winding up with these tales of you know monsters in the forest and things. Then in the third act, when these two mysterious, are they working together, are they not working together, people descend on, 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 the, uh, on the campsite all hell breaks loose. What I will say is this has obviously been made by someone who knows horror inside out. I mean, there are references uh, seeded through it to all sorts. There's a character called Inspector Franju, obviously referring to Georges Franju. Uh, the, the area they're camping in is Castle Rock, which is straight out of Stephen King. Mm. Uh, there's a John Carpenter style score. Uh, it's, it's very much as well of a piece with the, the new French extremity horror films like Switchblade Romance by Alexandre Aha and um, uh, Pascal Lugier's uh, Martyrs. Uh, I love the kind of setup and the slow burning difficulty, all these kind of topical things as well. You know, it's set in an area where a factory has recently gone out of business. So there's this sense that people in the poorer part of Belgium are resentful towards the richer kids coming in. Yeah. There are two uh, French uh, layabouts and tracksuits who are like characters from a Dardenne Brothers film, just zipping around, just this sense of incipient threat building and building and building. What I felt with Cub is when the attack eventually comes, all of these very, very fascinating uh, thematic threads suddenly drop and it's all about the carnage. And of course, with it being in that new French extremity style, the carnage is very tough. There's a scene in which there's cruelty to, to, to an animal, a dog, that I found, even though the dog is a nasty piece of work, very, very yeah. difficult to take. And I, I, I kind of think those aren't earned quite as well as they maybe could have been. And as a result, the, 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 the big, grotesque, blood-curdling denouement uh, you kind of want it to be more thematically in tune with the first half of the film. I think it's two halves of very different horror films kind of mm -hmm. welded together. It's a very, very promising debut feature. I'm yeah. not just saying that's because uh, because Jonas is a correspondent. You know, it's, it is. It just feels like it's almost too many ideas rushing out at once. Yeah. I thought some great performances as well, especially from the the young kid who played. Yeah, Sam. the little kid that plays Sam is very very yeah, good. Yeah, I thought it was. And as I say, the two uh, the, the the two French guys in the tracksuits are very very sinister. Also, the yeah. guy playing Inspector Franju has worked with the Dardenne brothers on their films as well, which are all kind of engaged with um, uh, disenfranchisement and a, a, a lack of economic power in in present day Belgium to very different ends. You know, there's no one running around in wooden masks yeah. as of yet in a Dardenne brothers movie, <laughs> uh, but this is perhaps what that might look like were that to happen.